Just coming up to 30k. Okay, to go. My body's in absolute agony. Just wait, push through. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Nottingham. We have arrived on January 12th, Friday, and this is the day before the Ultra. Very excited about it, aren't we? This Ultra is a little bit different. I have ran Ultras before. I've done a 45, a 60, and a 100K. The 100 was the race, and the 60 and the 45 were big, massive training runs that I did. And this one's a little bit different because it's a looped Ultra. It's called Russell Back ultra marathon and it's a 5.79k loop and you've got six hours so essentially you run for as long as you can in the six hours i'm going to run for six hours that is the um that is what i'm going to do basically unless something drastic absolutely happens but i'm very excited about this one i've never done anything like it before i think it'll be really amazing ben is running a little bit of it but i am running the full six hours i don't know how i feel about it yet i think with the 100 it was a massive feat for me that i was mentally prepared i was very in it this one I'm, I've obviously trained for it, but I just, I'm excited. I'm just, I'm excited. That's all I've got to give right now. We are staying in like a little, I just clean more like an Airbnb, isn't it? Yeah. Airbnb vibes. And then we're going to go and get some food. Nando's five minutes away, so we're going to get a Nando's for dinner. We, I keep saying we, me and Ben are going to go for a little shakeout run now. Like 3.5K-ish is what we'll do. We just get the legs loose. It was about a two hour drive. I didn't drive, Ben drove. Thanks, Ben. Regarding things that I'll be carrying on me tomorrow. Now, it is obviously a little bit different. Because it's a loop, you don't have to carry absolutely everything with you. Now, my main things that I will always have on me, hydration sachets, but that's just gonna go in the water, so I'll probably mix that up beforehand anyway. I'm gonna put two in each of the sides of my Harrier vest. Good to get this old bad boy out. It's the one I wore for the 100k run, it is really good. It sits on me quite well because with this ultra, you're obviously not sprinting. I don't mind about something being on me, but whereas with the marathon, I was happy I had something around my waist because it was just really bugging me. I've got my Oakleys, I've got a cap. I don't know which cap I'm gonna wear yet. I did do a full outfit thing on my Instagram, so go over to my Instagram, I know it's with all you've gone up, but it's on there. A sports bra and leggings because it's due to be about one or two degrees tomorrow, which is absolutely freezing. It makes you feel a certain type of way, so I also have have a headband in case it gets really cold. I'm gonna have Ben to have on in case I need my ears covering because you just don't know. I then have two jackets. So I have the Elevate Black Zip, which is always the one that I train in, and then the training jacket. So I'm gonna wear two because of how cold it is and I'm just not prepared for that. In dingy toe socks, I also have a spare pair of socks that I can train into. But if it's really cold in the morning, I'll put these on straight away. These are the shoes that I'm actually gonna run in, the Nike Air Zoom Tempo Next Percent. The reason that I'm running in these because one, they are battered. I've had them for quite a while. And two, I don't get on that well with my trail shoes. They're okay and they actually are really comfy. And I'm gonna take them with me as a spare pair. Um, but these are the Night Trail Gore-Tex. I'm gonna take them with me, but I'm just not 100% sure how I feel about them. And then if it's raining, I do have a over jacket thing as well. But that's pretty much everything. I've got food, um, like flapjacks, bananas, bagels, snacky bits that I'll have every time I go around the loop. That's basically where we're at. 3.5K done and dusted, very chilled pace. The only thing I'm finding a little bit hard is I'd, I've got very bad coughs. You guys know if you follow me on YouTube anyway. I think I've said it for the past three weeks. So I'm not really doing anything about it, which is now the day before the ultra is what it is. But we are having a positive mindset, even though that wasn't the juiciest of juiciest juice out runs. Oh, look at his back. It is what it is. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna have a great time. We're gonna have a ball. That is what we are doing today. I really hope I make it to ultra distance. I will, won't I? Of course I will. Get rid of the negativity. Yeah, we're gonna go for a Nando's. The Nando's has arrived. So I got a sunset burger, side of halloumi, cheese and mash. Potentially might get some extra chips if feel they're needed for the carb load. But all in all, I'm very excited about the fact that the Nando's close. That is always a good thing about Nando's is it sits on your stomach well for a race. So yeah, yum. Good morning, everybody. It is ultra marathon day and I'm very excited. I've just been getting ready and because the calf situation is interesting. So I ordered my calf sleeves and they didn't arrive, which is not ideal, but I've just put my arm sleeves on my legs. I thought that was a great thing to do. Um, I've got my electrolytes in my bottle. I've just had a bagel 
with honey. And I've also got a banana, which I'll probably have beforehand because it's 7.40 now. And we actually only start running at 10. It's 10 till four, because it's six hours. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go out and then I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna absolutely enjoy it. And it's gonna be amazing and wonderful. And to be fair, it looks absolutely freezing. It looks crisp, but it's not raining. And that is all I wanted, is it not to rain. We are on our way. Electrolytes in hand, nearly finished them. We're gonna stop off in Starbucks on the way because Ben's gonna grab a coffee. Fingers crossed we can get as much footage as we can today because it's a loop. I'm assuming it should be a little bit easier. Um, it does feel very cold, but it's also pleasant. But yeah, we're uh, we're on we're on route. This is where we're running, which is crazy exciting actually. And look how stunning that is. The sunset coming the sun, through. The sunrise. sunrise coming through. I'm excited about this. Beautiful. Okay, we are here and it is absolutely stunning. It's actually how it's, it's very beautiful. serene. And um, got my pack full of everything. I'm probably going to take one of the water things out because it's a loop. We're going to have access to water. I've got a cup anyway. It's cold. Probably like two degrees. I've got my arm sleeves on my calves because my calf sleeves never arrived. But we're gonna do it. Seven four seven. Lucky number today. There we go. Got the slogan. Keep Ice fucking room. moving. Ice that jab, that's a start the fruit. <laughs> How are we feeling? I'm fucking <laughs> 50 seconds. Oh my god. You ready to rock? Um, I'm not putting sunglasses on yet. I'm going to keep on my head. Jack. Man of Jack's tactic. Run for six hours at a 5.45 per K pace. We obviously know we're going to have to stop at some stage. Cling on for deal. We're nearly 1K in. It's fucking it freezing. It's absolutely freezing. It's weird because I don't know if we're gonna. No, we probably will heat up. Don't your mouth so cold you can't talk. This is nice and spongy. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning though. Beautiful. Update everybody. We are 15.75k in. The pace is like more, almost impossible to gauge, isn't it? Because there's no way of knowing. It's just. I'm at 4.56, which is yeah. high. 4.55, which we're, we're not. Right. The forest throws you off. It says run like eight minute per k's in the forest. So we're more so just going off loops now, which isn't ideal, but we're basing it off feel yeah. and just seeing how we're going because the. It's our fourth or third loop. This is our third loop. Third loop. The last bit of the third. Yeah. So we want about 31 minutes per loop. Yeah. Because we know the loop quite well now. There's well, there's three hills, but two are rougher. But there's also like some nice spongy bits. Like this is relatively nice to run on. And there's another forest bit that's really nice to run on. So we look forward <laughs> to those bits. And then at the end of this loop, I'm gonna have a gel. It's gel time, everybody. Gel gel o'clock we are seven i mean i'm on 16.9 <laughs> <laughs> my, my garmin's really off so yeah, we're gonna pop a gel we're an hour 34 in which it's i mean it's very dependent when you want to actually take one we're just taking it now because we didn't really feel like it before i had salts this morning yeah and a bagel and things like that so yeah i'm gonna pop in a gel well, hey where are we it's coming for 30k 29.7 30k. Fucking go. Two hours 38. Do you know what? Doing loops goes really fast. We're both starting to feel the hills a little bit. We've run every single bit so far. We're going to run this next loop. I'll and then. Yeah. Just under 35. Yeah, under 35, which is great. And then, depending on. We've both got a few niggles that you start to feel on stuff like this. Like, look at that hill. Um, so, yeah, it's going good so far. We are. 35k done. 35k done so 15k to 50 which because it's that. yeah that'll be a good going where i think it's the terrain brings out a lot of niggles it's um pretty much like this it's very windy and there's three like hills um we're doing we're doing good we've got about half an hour buffer 
Yeah, we do. We've given ourselves a really big buffer for 60k. Is that right? Yeah. Which is see how we go. nice. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how, see how we go. But weather's glorious. Gloves have come off. Not too hot, not too cold, which is good because we're not actually sweating loads. So we're not sweating out all the salts. Josh just got another water there with some hydration in. Yeah, we're still alive. Just up there in you guys. We are on nearly 39.75k in. Gorgeous day. The terrain is interesting. Hills, forest. Um, we started to feel quite niggly, but we are three hours 34 in. So one would say smashing it. Uh. It's just hit marathon oh, distance. First bar. What time? 350. 350. Yeah. It's um, it's getting painful oh. now. I'm gonna nibble on a bar. I've got a trek power bar. Yeah, it's getting it's getting a certain time away. So once you've done this lap, it'll be 45. Still 45. Just over 45. Go. Hi, Phil. Jack's got a cramp. Hi, Phil. Good. Swash. Put Laffy on. Put Laffy on. I think we're eight laps in. Got a cramp. 49k in. Jack is a little bit behind on this one because he's running and walking. It's getting ropey. I'm aiming for 10 laps, which is 57.9. Oh, yeah. Still smiling though. I mean, it's a half smile. 51.1. Nearly done this loop. I'm gonna fill up my water. We're gonna go for one more loop because I can't feel my calves. Oh, the agony. But got high rocks. Oh god, they are bad. In two weeks, I want to get to 57.9k. Does it even seem possible to be able to do another loop right now? But that's when you know you've got to keep going, isn't it? I've given myself so much time. It's been four hours 46. Hey Woo! Keep going! Hold well on, Luce. Hold well on, Luce. How many? Nine. Nine. Well done. Do one more. How you feeling? You look quite good. I feel. You look good, though. I feel hard. I feel hard. It's getting very cold as well. Yeah, it's cold now. Temperature's dropping. 52.1k in. Well done. So I'll do one more lap, which is 57.9. There's no point setting out for the last one. Yeah. I won't make, make the time back. Nando's waiting for you. Yeah. Is that what we're doing? I'll see you. Is it? Whatever you want. You guys want to know what it felt like after running 51k? Fuck my life. Agony. Absolute agony. Oh my God. I'm aiming to get to 57.9k. Should finish on 57.79k, I think. Something like that. Oh God. Or 57k, I don't even know. But that's what we're going for. Body's in absolute agony. But just where you push through, my back's hurting a little bit still. So I'm just so happy on the last lap. Three k to go. Ooh, yep. It's painful. It's very painful. Five hours. 26 minutes in. We're so close. It's in about 57k. But that's 700 meters to go. Nearly there. Guys, I've got 700 meters to go. I've done 57.9k. It's been a tough day. But I'm still running. Oh my god. It makes me feel emotional when I get near the end. On loose. Animal. <laughs> Go on. We are back home and what a day that was, honestly. That was incredible. I also feel pretty good. Like I don't feel horrendous. Obviously my legs are sore and I feel niggly, but that was just honestly beautiful 57.79 kilometers 
I managed 10 loops, which is, do you know what? It's pretty, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, I didn't have enough time, I don't think, anyway, to set off for a final lap. I also didn't have it in me. You can tell by the end of that video, I was really just, fatigue-wise, it was intense. Like, my calves, my back. Like, where my scap is, every time I was breathing, I was like, I literally, it's like I'm being stabbed in the scap. And I've had stuff like that before, but it's usually on the opposite side. It's not as bad now, but I've, I have already booked in for physio next week for the calves and for the back, because I'm finally taking action on that, because it's been too long. The calves weren't causing me as much of an issue, though. I think the back was so painful that it was, like, overtaking it. But I'm so proud. I'm so proud of Jack. He absolutely smashed it. He did his first marathon and his first ultra today, which is amazing. He hit marathon at three hours 50, which is, again, awesome. And then Ben hasn't done a long run like that since his car crash, and he did 22K, so I'm so, so proud of both of them. It was incredible, and I hope this shows you that you can literally do anything you set your mind to. I just, yeah, I'm buzzing. Guys, you know the ultra I've just completed and have recovered from really well? I came eighth overall out of boys and girls and I was first woman. What do you mean? That is so exciting. So in two weeks time, I've got Manchester High Rocks doubles. Gonna go absolutely ham. I think this ultra and this running journey has really helped in prep for that anyway. Hope you love this video. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned for more crazy shit. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.